Why you're here. You might as well turn around and go back right now because I'm not going to another foster home. What do you mean? I've always helped you. I just can't trust you anymore. You can't trust me. I've always been here to help you. Why couldn't you just come by unannounced? Why did you have to keep warning them monsters when you were coming? Because when you showed up, they would smile and laugh and bake cookies. But as soon as you left, before you even pulled out the driveway, they would beat me, they would kick me, and call me names. My name is Angela M. Duckett, and I'll be playing the character Nisi in an upcoming film called Angry Tears. And Angry Tears is based off the novel written by Erlina Guilford Weaver, who will wipe my tears away. And the character I play again, his name is Nisi. And Nisi has been through so, so much. As a child, she has been in different foster homes. She has dealt with abuse mentally, physically, sexually. Any type of abuse you can think of, she's been through. And basically, it's her journey through life, um, finding her place in life, finding her connection with God, redeveloping that relationship with God after everything that she has been through. All right, behind the scenes, it's definitely a great, great opportunity. It's definitely fun behind the scenes. All the people that I work with are awesome. Um, it, it gets funny at times, I can say. That's a good word for it, funny. Um, the different takes we have to take, because some some scenes you may do two or three takes, other scenes you're at 45. And it's like little mistakes. So, but I mean, every part of the filming process is awesome. I enjoy it. I enjoy coming from where I stay all the way back to Youngstown, Ohio to do the filming. So please come check out the movie. I am Evangelist Erlina Guilford Weaver, and I am the executive producer and co-writer of the movie upcoming movie, Angry Tears, based off my book, Who Would Wipe My Tears Away. I wrote this book in a couple of years ago, 2010, and I took this book and I made it into a stage gospel play. First, my husband drew the cover of this book. I know you like it. And now we are filming did I say that? Filming the movie, Angry Tears, based on this true story of my life. How Angry Tears came about, um, I was just sitting down in my room one day after the stage play and I got a phone call from a guy named Mr. Prince Zaire that told me I need to really make this out of a movie. So as the time went by, the cost was costing too much for us, so we prayed about it. And one day here at Shekinah Glory, we were sitting here having praise and worship, a nice time, and a gentleman came up to me, and I knew it was from God, because when he came up to me, he was like, hey, I know a producer that can do your movie, and I'm like, wait a minute, how did he know I was doing a movie? And he missed him, Mr. David Walker. And that's how it came about that me and Mr. David Walker met. So when we met, and he read my story, and he heard what was going on. He was like, hey, this is a great story, and it gotta be told. And right there, he took it from there, and he let us know, hey, don't worry about the money, let's get this done, let's go forth, so somebody else can be able to see this story. Oh, wow, and you're talking about taping, shooting this film. Oh, it's been like a roller coaster for me. But it's been exciting, you know, working with the cast and everybody and my film director, just awesome. It has been like, ugh, so exciting. It's been some things that have been going on that we had to tape that, you know, is dear to my heart because it's a true story. So some of the things that we shoot, kind of touchy, and some things we, you know, I just laugh about because it's just so good.
I'm going to tell you the truth, I'd rather do a stage play than a movie because it seemed like, but people say stage plays are more difficult, but I believe it's movies. But the thing about the movie that I like, it really shows the true meaning of this story. And that's what I love about doing this movie. So you don't want to miss this movie because I know someone has been out there that has been abused, that has been going through what I have been through in my life. So I don't want to tell you all about it because I want you to come and see it for yourself.